Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the property editor inside of uh, AllCAD Capture and Capture CIS. So the property editor is, is where you can add properties to parts or to nets um, that can be used for building materials or to transfer properties across into uh, the Cadence PCB tools. So you can invoke it one of two ways. We can select a part, right mouse button and use edit properties. This would then bring up the property editor here. So you can see I've got a list of properties that are on this part. This is what they class as the instance-based properties. This is what the occurrence-based properties are. There are other videos going through what the differences are between these two, but in this design, it's actually an occurrence-based design. So the yellow column is the key one. Just to show you another example of that, if we actually went to something that had um, a complex hierarchy in and I double click on a part, you'll see that I get two yellow columns here in the property editor for the occurrences. So one of them will be U32, one of them will be U35. So if you go back to the other property editor, let's go back to the other page again. Uh, so as I said, I can either uh, select the part, right click edit properties, or I can double click the part and look at the properties that way. Um, I can click on new property to manually add a new property. So if I wanted to call a property, my property, I could give it a value of Steve, for example. Um, click OK, then my property effectively is then added. It's sorted alphabetically, so it then moves up. And you'll see Steve is then available to that. I have the ability here to select the property and then uh, do a display. And if I wanted to display either the value, the name and value, the name only, both, etc., etc., you've got different options here to say if you want to display this on the canvas. There are some filters in the property editor. So the filters allow me to either look at the current properties, which are the properties that are assigned to the part, or I can be very specific if I choose something like the Allegro PCB Designer, I would see the properties that are available for the Allegro PCB Designer flow. I've also got the same for things like Wilcap PCB Designer Professional, Wilcap PCB Designer Standard, uh, and others as well. So depending on what flows you're looking at, it might be worthwhile having a look at the different flows. There's also tabs along the bottom, so depending on what you've got selected, you can, you can see the options. So if we were to, uh, let's just do a window select, say of some nets and components. Obviously I can do a edit properties here. So that would be the, the, the schematic nets. I've obviously got the part based. I've got the schematic nets. So I can then see the flat nets, the pins, any title boxes if I've got them selected, globals, ports, aliases. So it does actually show you everything based on what you've got selected in the, in the main window. From a net point of view, I can double click a net um, and I can add properties to this as well. So again, if I was to look at things like, uh, I've got line style, line width, name, if I was to look at the Allegra PCB Designer, I could add properties like min line width, min neck width if I wanted to. The key part really of the property editor is that there's two flows here. So if you run a, a constraint manager flow, create constraint manager enable flow, which effectively you enable the constraint manager, then any net based properties would not be available. This property tab effectively is greyed out. And what that does is because all the properties are then controlled from constraint manager. In a normal design flow that isn't constraint manager enabled, you can obviously double click the nets and add the properties that you need to. So that's a brief overview of the property editor inside AllCAD Capture and Capture CIA.